Hello, this is James. Yeah, hi, James. This is Sam here. Oh, hi, Sam. How are you going? Oh, hi, Sam. How are you going? Okay, so... <laughs> all right. Uh, what I will do, I will connect with your screen and I will check what's wrong with it and I will help you with the issues, okay? Thank you. Okay, I want you to look at the keyboard on the bottom left corner. There is a Windows key, like a four squares icon on it. Mm -hmm. You have to click on OK. OK. Is that who I've called? Uh, I've called Support Hello Limited? Uh, yes, it's name of our company. Oh, fair enough, OK. So within a few seconds, there, <laughs> there would be a white message on the screen. You have to click on OK on that white message. All right, now I can see the computer screen. Let me use him off and uh, let me minimize this box first of all. Sure. Let it close. So is this you are getting on the computer screen? Yeah, that's, that's the uh, thing that's stopping me from browsing. In that black box there used to be some text, but I can't see that anymore. But it says your PC ran into a problem. Is it first time you're having this problem or have you faced such a problem before? No, I've never seen it before. This is the first time. It also did say something about a virus in there, I think, in the bottom right. But so You can see I, I was alarmed That's by that. Reality. Don't worry, sir, you are connected with the technician. I will take care of it. All right. Could you tell me which security you are using on this computer? Um, I have uh, something called Malwarebytes. A friend put that on for me. And I think there's another thing. I think it's called Avira. Let me tell you, sir, it's a, as I have seen the configuration, it's a i7 processor. It's a good computer that you are using. Okay, that's nice and to know. And you are right. It's a, it's not running as good as it is. Okay. Overall, good. The hardware part is good. Uh, let's check why it is running slow. Let's check the security part first. Oh. Sure. Look at this red color over here. It says it's spyware and wanted software protection. These are turned off. That means your computer is not protected anymore with any of the server security. All right. And here's the complete detail here. Your virus protection, it's not available here. And five year and one wanted software protection is off. The access protection is off. Uh, I can see that even a single security is not working on this computer right now. That could be the reason you are getting these problems on it. And let's mm. check the maintenance part. How old is your computer, sir? Like, how long you have this computer? Uh, I've had it for about five months. So here's a complete list of all the issues that you have in the computer. Add very small tool. It's not working here. It's everywhere is an application. It's not working. One is up responding and closed. Fixed. I see. So there's a lot of crashes and things like Put that. In so the driver, file assistant help us start working. Google start working. Explorer as well. Sir, I've had a lot of crashes. Let's check the complete list. If this is only one computer, you, or do you have the other computer with you? Uh, I do have another computer. Uh, it's running Windows 10, actually. The system configuration, I can say, it is the brain part of the computer. It contains all the services. And we can see this series here with services running and which is not running. Okay. I'll click it on the data service start running. Area production start working. The production is not working. Do you mind if I do you mind if I do something? There's something I need running at the moment that I do know how to run. 
It'll only take me about 10 seconds. It's uh, just part of my Microsoft Office. Do you mind if I load that up? Yeah, could you show it to me? Yeah. The service you are talking about. Yeah, it's um... Let's see, it's over here. And uh... I need that. So sorry about that. You can you can continue. In the sec in the system configuration, this, there are some very important service. They should be in running state. Okay. Uh, this, these all are the services, and they are not running on the computer right now. And uh, the primary issue, like you are not using any security on the computer, and the second thing is that, apart from the file talk about the internal part of the computer, mm. there are the services are not running. I'm not talking about any virus or infection right now. I'm talking about the internal basic services. They should be in running state. Okay. And, then. Uh, let me go ahead and check the status of the drivers. The same here, the drivers are not running on it. All oh, right, okay. Okay. We have a tool with using that tool, we can find out the, all the problems that you have in the computer along with the interactions with virus. Okay, so give sure. me a minute and let me run that tool on the computer. No problem. Oh, I've seen this one before. And sir, have you ever taken this computer to any technician? Uh, yeah, once um, a couple of months ago, there was uh, it was crashing, and he I think he replaced the hard drive or something like that. It seems like you have already used this software on the computer. That's why you were telling me. Yeah, I think I've seen it before. So the child version has already been used on this computer, so it will not work. Did it expire, maybe? It expired, maybe. Yeah. Alright, let me get a complete report from my side, okay? I yeah. need some information from you. you. Yeah. Alright. How come this super anti spyware keeps showing up? I'll uninstall it. Okay. Go ahead and type all these details on the computer screen. Alright, I can do that. Give me a minute. So we have got the complete report about the computer. Um, I see. These are the main errors and warnings on the computer that you have with the computer. DNS. Oh, what's the issue with the DNS in there? So as you are connected to me, sir, what we will do, we will assign a technician for the computer and the technician mm. will work on the computer. Uh, all it will take somewhere around 60 to 90 minutes to fix all these issues. Alright. Okay. Uh, you have the two options, like uh, first you can download any software to speed up or tune up your computer and to protect your computer, but every time you need to pay for it, right? Instead of that, I will give you the best option. Okay. There would be a one-time payment for the computer. There would be a one-time fee. Uh, sure. It will include your the complete seven layers of security. 
which includes your firewall, security. These are the seven layers, are they? Your virus protection. Seven layers, are they? Yeah, uh, these are the virus protection. Mm -hmm. All the bytes which are not running, working on the computer right now. Really? Okay. So right now they have, you have these malware bytes, but they are not working on it, so we need to reinstall all these things. Oh, I see. Yeah, the security. The security. Network security, we call it your network access protection isn't. Network access protection, all right, fine. This security it includes your the, like a, a ad blocker and pop-up blocker and sometimes if you are getting any advertisement or any other thing with the browser, you will not face such a problem with the external security. Oh, it's, happens, like, okay. Uh, if you're trying to open a new so that's for advertisements. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think yeah, I need. And sometimes, yeah, and it it happens like if you are trying to open any website at the same time, some other website is got it getting open at the same time, which you are not supposed to open. So it will okay. block all these things. So collectively, we call them the complete family for security. And uh, the services which are not running on it, so we need to reinstate all these Microsoft services. You need to restate them. Okay. And install the stop drivers. I think it means reinstate. Which I'm missing on it. Okay. Yeah. So if I'll talk about the feature, you have the two options here. The first option is for the lifetime. I'm sorry, my finger is fractured. I'm no, making that's okay. mistake no, while okay. typing. <laughs> what, why it is for lifetime and why it is for three years? It will be lifetime with a one-time payment of two forty nine ninety nine, with a recurring amount of seven dollars and ninety nine cents from next month onward. So that will be continued with the lifetime till the time you will use this computer. And in future, if you want to buy a new computer, we can transfer this support, these services to the new computer, and you do not have to pay anything for the security for the software for new computer. Oh, it's transferable. So it's right. two hundred and fifty dollars now, and then an eight dollar per month subscription sort of thing, yeah. Yeah, it's a one time, and the, from next month onward, the seven dollars and ninety nine cents would will be there. Uh, right. To continue with till it lifetime. Okay. So which one is best for you, sir? Uh, yeah, the lifetime one sounds better actually. Yeah, the lifetime one. So what I will do, I'll register your computer for this lifetime, and do remember, in future, you do not have to purchase any security, no need to purchase any software to protect your computer. If you face any problem, you just need to um, call to our toll fee number. And uh, along with the toll free number, we will provide a calling card. Uh, you just simply need to double click on the calling card and your computer will directly get connected with the technician, okay? That sounds good. Uh, so you have the options here. Would you like to pay with your card or would you like to pay with your PayPal account? Yeah, I'd prefer with card. Um, just a question for you. Uh, uh, all right. what, if I, uh, what if I don't go for all seven layers? Is there, is there any way of getting a discount? No, the sound layer says even a single security is missing, you'll get problem on the computer. Uh, so we are telling actually, okay. you will not get some anywhere if you will search for the complete sound layers, you will not get anything. But uh, we are calling it the sound layers. Why we are calling it? Because it includes all the securities. That's why we are calling it sound layers. Uh, the thing is, I, I have malware bytes um, all already. Layers. Yeah, but they are not working on this computer right now. Are you sure about that? Even a uh, I was security. just looking at that this yeah, morning. Let me show it to you. <laughs> uh, let me show it to you. Is a security and maintenance part. If I'll click on the security. Yeah, firewalls working. It says. Firewalls working. Avira. But that is not working. Hang on. Firewalls working. Hang on. Let me show it to you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
bit for a while. Yeah, then no problem. It includes all those things. Oh, okay. Your malware bytes and two malware bytes have started working on it. Okay, well, it might have stopped on the 17th, but it's working just beautifully right now. Yes. So we will fix all the issues. We will not leave a single problem on the computer. Okay? Excellent. Can I ask so what IP security is? It's under the unit. IP security is. Mm -hmm. IP security, you know very well, sir. Like every machine, every computer contains a unique address. Uh, it has, like your computer has a unique address that should that that need to be protected. If your IP is protected, no one no one can get connected with the computer. You mean like this? Uh, you can also get your MAC address. Yeah. The MAC address for a computer is unique for every computer, you know that? Uh, yeah, it's unique for every piece of electronic. It's a physical address, otherwise known as... Yeah, MAC address. So, we, so it's we part, of the, part of the seven layer OSI model. Uh, this IP4 address here actually, that's, that's perfectly secure. It requires NAT to even get out into the public internet. Because it's a private address. It should be private address. Yes. NAT, not NAP. NAP is actually, that's a network access protection and that's for if you're on a domain. It's more of a corporate situation and I'm not, this is just a home computer so I don't actually need that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and what I mean by the network security is like whenever you your computer connects with the internet service, it automatically creates your virtual private network, right? Yeah, I do have that. The other devices connect using the same network. I do have a VPN, meaning if you actually did find my external computer's address, you it would still wouldn't look right. I do, yeah. I think, I think Cyber you are ghost. misunderstanding. You are, I think you are misunderstanding. Uh, actually, I'm not. IP I'm not really. You <laughs> but okay, you, I'm, I'm happy to listen to this. Okay. You have your IP address, but yes. that needs to be protected here so that you won't no, have any problem. No, it doesn't. Right? Is this my IP address here? Yeah. This one? Yeah, here it is. Okay, so 192.168, so you know actually, very well, sir. that can't be routed on the internet, you know that. There's no need for protection. <laughs> Nobody can see that address, it's private. Nobody can see that address, it's private. You have a good computer knowledge, sir, I can see that. <laughs> Thanks. It just makes it hard to, to scare me, that's all. <laughs> So the, the one thing that I will say, sir, in yeah. future, whatever goes wrong with the computer, just give a call to us and we will help you. <laughs> what? Okay. okay, yes. Right. I don't see what you're typing up there. I'm curious, though. Yeah, I'm tapping on my computer screen. That's fair enough. So how long have you been working there, Sam? How long have you been working there, Sam? Mm, yeah, yeah, less ten years. Okay, so you're quite seasoned in this. So you're quite seasoned in this. So premium tech support, is it? Or what? I'm sorry, what was the place called? No, it's. If you wouldn't mind helping me out with this. Limited, sir. If you wouldn't mind helping me out. I'll just, I'll just make it blank for you. And I'm again telling, sir, whatever goes wrong with the computer, yeah. no need to install any software, no need to purchase anything on it. Just good. need to give a call to us and we will be taking care of it. All right. Well, it sounds like a great service. It sounds good. So, uh, yeah, the um, would you mind typing in your uh, the address for your, your company up in the browser there? Yeah, well, what we'll do, we will give you all the details when we will generate your unique customer ID. We will send you an email and we will save a document on your computer desktop as well. Ah, so that only happens but after payment, that, yeah? I need to... Uh, yeah. Alright then, let's continue. So what kind of purpose do you use this computer, sir? This computer? Specifically this computer? Yes. Specifically this computer? Yes. 
what I do is I set up a bunch of problems for tech support scammers to have a look at. It's a virtual computer, so it's a scam dating machine, basically. So tell me, you are going to pay me or not before I tell me <laughs> I'm who I'm working on it? <laughs> Sam, you, you must know I'm not going to pay for this. I'm feeling all these details. Alright, oh, okay, you do that. And since how long you are uh, doing all these things? Uh, about, I think, almost three months now. Almost three months, yeah. I think it was late August that I started this. It can actually be quite entertaining. You know, some some of the people are very abusive, some of them are a bit, a bit nicer like yourself, some of them just refuse to believe that they're running a scam. <laughs> All different types of personalities. Some of them ask if I have a YouTube channel, and they go and subscribe. So you know, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a fun thing to do sometimes. Uh, tell me the name of that YouTube channel. Uh, okay. Uh, do you want me to spell it out for you, or actually, I can browse to it if you'd like. Uh, you you can do one thing. Uh, hang on. Uh, there would be a notepad screen on it. You can tap it over. All right, you are playing it. Uh, yeah, I'll just browse to it if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll just browse to it if you want. Yeah, I've uh, listened to uh, so many YouTube uh, videos. Uh, You've seen them, huh? Like, uh, from <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is this one's mine. I've disabled sound on this virtual machine, so we can't hear it. But you'll see there are quite a few. And just, I just want to let you know, I don't do this in order to upset you people. I don't do it, you know, I don't want to abuse people. Sometimes it turns out that way. But, but that's when they start it, you know. I'm, a, I'm more of a reactive person. Okay, so, okay, so uh, I cannot take the payment from my side, so I need to transfer not. this call to my billing team, all right? Yeah, yeah. They will take the authorization, and if you have any question, you can ask to me as well as to the... Are the team okay? Sure, so give that's me fine. A minute. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you for staying online, sir. You're welcome. That's okay. You're welcome. Get connected with the the team. Sure. Short time. Secure connection. <laughs> Maybe check if Google works. That might work. Let me check it where it's not working. Technicians usually check the simplest things first, so Google might be a good idea. No, you were right in Internet Explorer, I mean, just try google.com. So then, what I will do, I'll take the payment from my, my end, okay? Mm, sure, sure. And it, uh, your details, like your card number. Uh, what the hell? Expiration date. Two. 
and make sure the details that you have provided are all like your name and email address, everything is correct here. Okay, sure. I've already given you the email address, haven't I? Or have I not? I don't remember actually. Uh, I'll show it to you. Okay. I think I did. I think it was james.brady at email.com. Details that I have with your card is. Let me show it to you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right, yes. I thought I'd put that in. Yeah, Louisiana. Zip code's right. Yeah, Louisiana. Phone number's right. You called me back on this number anyway, so yeah, it's all good. They're getting those from, from the screen. Mm. What I happened? usually do, if you have seen in YouTube. Sorry? Nothing, sir. What do you mean? You said I've seen something on YouTube. <laughs> no, I was telling that uh, you got a blue screen over there. Ah, oh, yes. You didn't notice that. Ah, uh, no, actually, I created it. You created it. Yeah, I mean, I'll show you again. Hold on, I'm not touching the mouse and keyboard. Like, you, like here, if you actually press enter, like you, you, it does things like this. But it actually does shut the computer down, so I'll stop it before it does that. So we can continue. Uh, unable to process the transaction, sir. Is something wrong with your card number or is it some details? Uh, it might be some of the details. Uh, it might be some of the details. Uh, check it out. Is that. everything correct? Oh, well, the email's good. I could check email on that. Email's good. The state. The zip code, those those line up. Phone number. Well, I mean, you called me, so that's a good number. The names are at two. Uh, it might be one of the numbers on the card then. Uh, do you remember showing that there were stop services as well? Which services? Uh, I believe it was in. Uh, the uh, MS config, I think that's where we look for that. Yeah, MS config. Isn't that right? And we go here, and then you were pointing out some of these things being stopped as an issue, as a problem. Yeah. Some of them are, some of them, you know very well, some of them are very important. Yeah, and, and you know, know some of them are completely the not important at all. Yeah, also, I'm not telling that all should be in uh, running state, but some of them are very important. They should be in running state. Okay, which of these here can you point to that absolutely should be in running state? That's from the bottom one. Sure, let's look at them. Get the stop services first of all. Mm -hmm. This one? Yeah, I don't actually have protected storage attached to this machine, so not needed. Uh, yeah, I don't use shadow copy. I'm surprised you didn't click on secure socket tunneling protocol, but you know I don't have a VPN with a virtual machine. There's no need. The VPN's on my my uh, host machine. You are using TrueKey right now. Yeah, is it auto install or you have installed this TrueKey? No, oh, I just installed it myself, but it's actually not needed at all for this. So you can easily uninstall it, sir. You know very well if you are yeah, using could. software sir, and you are not yeah, using it, it can slow down the computer. Well, not if it's stopped. If it's not running, it's not actually doing anything, so it won't be slowing things down. Second one as well, the Windows module installer. Yeah, well, I don't have any intention of upgrading this Windows or in adding modules to it. Computer works fine for this purpose. Windows Defender, oh, okay, we could turn that on if you wanted.
but again, there, there isn't really a need. There isn't really a need for. Uh, yeah, sure, I can have a look at it. Uh, let's see, Windows Defenders, I think, usually in here. Oh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've looked at this. Windows Defender. If I can spell it correctly. Yeah, and click here to turn it on. There we go. But like I said, we don't really, we don't really need it. The machine's running inside of another machine, which itself is highly protected. So. There you go, it's real time protections now on. There you go, it's real time protections now Okay. Okay, are there any others? So the other one is working on the Gambia. Yeah, it's so all it's all running fine. If you are good at Dean's tell me if you are good at computers and mm. uh, why are you getting any support for the computer? Well, I'm okay with computers. If there you are people take better care of a computer yourself. Yeah. Uh, you are better at the computer, sir. Mm. Then who? Then you? Or? So tell me why you get it fixed yourself. Well, I don't need to get it fixed. I mean, it's like I've said, this machine specifically is is used as scam baiting. It's used to let uh, scammers, you know, diagnose it or rather misdiagnose it, find problems. In this case, you pointed out a few things that were not really problems, and you pointed out things such as malware bytes not running, and it, it is not. It is running. It's it's running fine. This is the premium version, in fact. Vera is also running you know just fine. Well. You have, in starting it was not working, you know very well, alright? Mm -hmm. I did As that just to help you out. Alright, so you have the much better knowledge about the computer, and you no need to get anything fixed by our team. No, no, of As course not. Have That's not the point. The That's not really the point uh, of these calls. I have, I have a, I have my computer. I know that in, I, I'm not requiring a technician for my computer because I can fix my computer myself. But yeah. what about those customers? They are not able to do anything with the computer. If well, in that case, on the screen, they in that case, they're, they're probably them. better off asking some sort of friend or someone who knows someone, as opposed to a call center in India. Which, by the way, I've got no problem with call centers in India, so long as they're not scamming. That's the problem I have. The only problem yeah, is the scam. I am in India. I, sir, don't worry. I, I am in India, sir. I'm not mm, I know. I am in India, sir. I know. I've got nothing against Indian people at all. I've got Indian friends, and you know, there's nothing wrong with anything in India. It's just a scam. You know, they could be in my country and scamming, and I would have just the same problem. So, uh, what do you want me to do now? I'd prefer if you could, I mean, I don't but know if you're allowed to admit it over the phone. That, uh, being a technician, if uh, I can, uh, being a technician, what I can suggest to you, I know that uh, my job is to uh, give you some services, but you, well, it seems like you are not required any services, you are not need any help for the computer, as you have much better knowledge about the computer. Well, I'd so like, you uh, can uh, fix these problems okay. yourself very easily. Yes, I can. That's there are no actual problems wrong. to fix in the first place, but I could if there were. So I suppose what so I'd like you to do, you to if, do if possible, you could admit that what you're doing is misleading. Yeah, I was trying to open that. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I'll, I'll allow you to open yeah, it now. I'll let, oh, now. shit, everything's falling. Yeah. Uh, it will work now. Yeah, sorry, I, I, something fell on my keyboard. <laughs> I'm not joking. Do you want to do that yourself now? You can put it in. Do you want to do that yourself now? You can put it in. Hang on. Let me get it again. No problem. You can, we can simply give some support to the customers, like if they have any problem, doesn't matter if they are a computer literate or they have much better knowledge about the computer, they can simply take our help. I know, but what was the price? It was $250 plus $8 every month for the rest of their life. That doesn't sound very good. Yeah, that's uh, And it, come, it, uh, it remains for a lifetime with a recurring amount. And yeah, I know that uh, that is not a big amount. Okay. 
So here's a piece, payment piece that uh, you, if you want to look at the payment piece. Okay. Like the safe card is a yeah. merchant with using that, we can take the payment and the support yeah. halal limited is the name of our company. Okay, I did actually want to see that, so that's, I'm glad. What I can do is re-enable my malicious website protection though, but yeah, we can see it here. So I'm glad that you admitted okay, that it wasn't so ethical. What do, you, what do you want to do now? Honestly, don't know. It usually doesn't get this far. You know, usually they hang up very quickly. So, by the way, thank you, Sam, or your real name. I don't need to know that. Thank you for not hanging up very quickly. And also, thank you for letting me speak, because a lot of times they just talk over the person. My hope is to help you out. So, whatever is the problem uh, with the customers, we can help them out. I understand that. Uh, you know, I, I can't possibly agree with the payment and how you diagnose computer, but that's your business. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well at this point, I don't think there's no reason for me to scream scammer at you. Too much of that goes on. That's right. You know, it's already, it's already been shown. It's already been shown. Yes. So, so I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll just let I you go. Yeah, yeah, I'll just let you go. Okay, you have a great day. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you have a great day. All right, thank you. Okay, bye. Then thank you for calling support. Hello. Bye.